Ever wondered how secure your network really is? In today's hyper-connected world, we often take for granted the security of our networks. Like invisible fortresses, they protect our most sensitive information, from financial details to personal communications. But these fortresses are not as impregnable as we might like to think. In fact, they are vulnerable, subject to attack from a variety of sources. One of the most prevalent threats to network security is the denial of service or DOS attack. This sinister form of cyber assault is more common than you might realize. It's like a virtual siege, designed to overwhelm a network until it can no longer function. What's more, these attacks can be carried out by anyone, from a disgruntled individual to a state-sponsored cyber army. The potential for damage is immense, but why should you care about DOS attacks? Well, imagine your network as a busy highway. Now picture a massive traffic jam with cars backed up for miles. That's what a DOS attack does to your network. It floods it with so much traffic that it becomes virtually impossible to use. Suddenly your network isn't a highway anymore. It's a parking lot. This is why understanding and protecting against these attacks is so crucial. Without the right defenses, your network could be brought to a standstill, leaving you unable to access essential services or carry out critical tasks. And in today's digital age, that's a risk we simply can't afford to take. But fear not. With the right knowledge, we can fortify our networks against these threats. We can make our invisible fortresses stronger, more resilient, and harder to breach. We can turn our highways into barricades capable of withstanding the onslaught of a DOS attack. So, let's delve into the world of DOS attacks and see how they work. Because the first step to protecting your network is understanding the enemy. And once we do that, there's no limit to how secure we can make our networks. Picture this. A major online retailer on the biggest shopping day of the year suddenly goes offline. Let's rewind to the year 2016. A well-known online retailer, DIN, was hit by a massive denial of service or DOS attack. It was the day of the annual summer sale, a mega event that sees millions of shoppers flocking to the site. Suddenly, without warning, the site went dark. The digital storefront was inaccessible and shoppers were left in the lurch with their carts full and transactions incomplete. The attacker in this case had used a method known as a distributed denial of service attack, or DDoS. This is where not just one, but multiple systems target a single system, causing it to overload and ultimately crash. In the case of DIN, the attackers had compromised thousands of Internet of Things devices, like smart fridges and security cameras, and used them to flood the retailer's servers with traffic. The fallout was immediate and widespread. Not only was DIN affected, but also other major sites that relied on its services like Twitter, Netflix, and Reddit. The Internet, for a brief period, seemed to have gone into a meltdown. The financial loss for Dean was monumental, running into millions of dollars. But more than the monetary loss, it was the loss of trust and reputation that hit harder. The attack lasted for the better part of the day, leaving customers frustrated and businesses scrambling. Despite the best efforts of cybersecurity teams, it took hours to mitigate the attack and restore services, a glaring testament to the destructive power of a well-executed DOS attack. This real-life example shows just how devastating a DOS attack can be. It's not just about the immediate impact, but the long-term consequences. A successful attack can cripple businesses, erode customer trust, and cause significant financial damage. And as our reliance on digital platforms grows, so does the potential for these kinds of attacks. This is why understanding and protecting against such threats is more critical than ever. But how does a DOS attack actually occur? Well, in simple terms, a denial-of-service attack, or DOS, exploits vulnerabilities in a network to overwhelm system resources, preventing legitimate users from accessing a service. The attacker floods the target with superfluous requests, causing it to slow down or even crash. This can be done in various ways. One method is through a buffer overflow attack, where an attacker sends more data than a system's buffer can handle, causing it to overflow and crash. Another is through an ICMP flood, also known as a ping flood, where the attacker overwhelms the target with ICMP echo request packets, causing it to spend all its resources responding. Then we have the Distributed Denial of Service Attack, or DDoS. This is a more potent version of a DOS attack, where the attacker uses multiple compromised computers to launch the attack. This makes it harder to stop, as blocking one source won't stop the flood of traffic. 
The attacker might also use a technique called IP spoofing, where they disguise their IP address to make it appear as if the attack is coming from multiple locations. This makes it even more difficult to trace the attack back to its source. So, as you can see, a DOS attack is a serious threat to any network. It's a clever exploitation of system vulnerabilities that can bring even the most robust networks to their knees. Now that we understand the threat, how can we protect against it? Protection against denial of service attacks relies on a blend of technical and organizational strategies. Let's delve into some of them. On the technical front, firewalls and intrusion detection systems are our first line of defense. Firewalls act as gatekeepers, filtering out malicious traffic before it reaches your network. Intrusion detection systems, on the other hand, monitor network traffic for suspicious patterns, alerting you to potential attacks. Beyond these, rate limiting is another effective method. By setting a limit on the number of requests a server can accept from a single IP address in a given time, you can prevent an attacker from overwhelming your system. Now let's talk about organizational strategies. Regular network audits are essential. These audits help identify security loopholes and ensure that all systems are updated with the latest security patches. Also, having a robust incident response plan in place is crucial. This plan outlines the steps to take when an attack is detected, minimizing damage and ensuring a swift recovery. Training your staff to recognize signs of a potential attack is another key aspect. The more eyes you have watching for threats, the better your chances of catching an attack before it escalates. Remember, the best defense is a good offense. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and stay safe. By implementing these strategies, you can bolster your network's resilience against denial of service attacks. So, what have we learned today? We've delved into the hidden dangers lurking in your network, explored a real-life example of a denial of service, or DOS attack, and illuminated the mechanisms behind such attacks. But most importantly, we've provided tangible strategies to protect against them. Knowledge is power, and you're now better equipped to safeguard your network. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more cybersecurity insights, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.